Today we will create bubble material for this object, this is a distorted sphere, which has several subdivisions. We have added displace modifier with distorted noise. And for final touch, the subdivision modifier. Now let's make the soap to make bubbles. In the shading editor, we using the scene world, because without it, we are in the dark world. This material works on cycle, as well as EV engine. We click on new to a add new material, call it bubble. We delete the principal BSDF shader, then add a mix shader by pressing shift A and connect it to shader. The bubble is a transparent object, so we will add a transparent node, then connect it to mix shader. If you're on EV, it'll turn black after the transparent shader. So to fix it, open material properties, in setting, change blend mode to alpha blend, and also check the back face culling. It's still a little black, but don't worry we'll fix it, now we add layer weight node, if your node wrangler add-on is enable, then press Control shift left click to preview this node. This black area will be transparent, and white will be black, because the edges of the bubbles are not as transparent as the central part. We will connect the facing to the mix shader. Now it's transparent, but to control the edge blackness, we add the color ramp node and adjust it. Let's add some glossiness on the bubble. We change its roughness to 0 0.05. Now let's add a few more nodes, texture coordinate, two noise textures, and last but not least, mix RGB node. We will connect the noise texture color to glossy color, and the texture coordinate object to vector. We preview the noise texture by control shift left click. Now change its scale value to 2, detail to 5, roughness to 0.3, distortion to approximate 1.7. Hmm, the bubble is almost formed, let's add a few more details. We preview the second noise texture, then change its scale value to 12, detail to approximate 1.7, roughness to 2, distortion to 1. We will combine the two textures with mix RGB node. Our bubble is ready, but its color is not much visible. To fix it, first we will add the RGB curves node, then hue saturation, and increase the saturation amount. Now the bubble material is ready. So if we create a new cube, subdivide it five time, and we will add our new bubble material on it. Hmm, one more bubble is ready. Let's change the engine to Cycle, because Cycle has far more realism than EV. By the way you can download the project file from below link. If you use this material on bubbles, they will all have the same noise, so to give randomness, we will add vector curves and object info nodes, then we connect random to vector. Now all bubbles have different noise textures, you can easily see the difference between normal and random noise bubbles. Today's topic is complete, we hope you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe for the next amazing video, and see you again, be happy.